Hey there, this is Jeff from the Atomic Bear. I'm um, super happy to talk to you about the Fire Spark Kit. Uh, probably if you're watching this video, you have purchased the Spark Kit, or maybe you're just considering to get one. Uh, anyway, the, the goal here is to uh, make sense of this kit and make sure that uh, you, you use it uh, the best way possible. And um, depending, depending on your level of experience, uh, you might get, find some of the tips that I'll give you in this video helpful. Uh, let's start with what you get in the kit. Uh, first of all, you will have uh, the ferro rod uh, with the little power cord and the whistle. Uh, that's a nice handle, that's something visible, so if it falls on the ground you see it. It's orange, it just calls uh, for you to see it, so that's the reason why we made it this orange uh, with a little note of black to make it uh, look cool. Uh, also, you will get in the kit a um, multi-tool striker a capsule with uh, some um, like a tinder inside and a carabiner okay how does this thing go together first of all it's made to be customizable that's why we have this main key ring here uh, so you can even change your uh, ferro rod when it's finished it's used you've been camping i don't know if, uh, 50 times and it's time to put a new one or if you want just prefer a different type or what whatever uh, you can put your keys on it your car keys house keys whatever you want this is totally customizable uh, if you have other uh, fire crafting tools that you want to add it's easy um, now uh, also part of the kit as i said these two elements and how do i assemble the kit uh, because uh if you don't have a strong opinion, you might be wondering how you should make sense of all this thing. So you have this smaller uh, key ring right there. So what I like to do is to put both the uh, striker and um, the, the capsule here together. Why is that? Because then I can use the carabiner, snap in the um, ferrod with the big key ring and the small key ring, and then I'm good to go. I can. Uh, snap this into my backpack, uh, my uh, pant belt loop, or anything where I think uh, this would go, uh, or just put in my bag. It's quite of a kind of a w easy way to carry this and snap on. Uh, but the good thing about assembling it, the way I mentioned, is that you can take this striker out quickly, and you even have a little handle to carry to hold it together. So it adds a bit of stability, and. And then you can use it to start your fire uh, when you're finished. Simply put it back here. So it's, uh, as opposed to other type of kits, it's an easy way to uh, bring the thing up, use it. It's not limited by your power cord and your movement and stuff. You have uh, a free hand to use it. Uh, if it's the first time you use a ferro rod or you wonder why this is not working, one other thing I would like to, uh, to make sure that you understand is that this is uh, this comes with a black oxide coat, uh, so you need to remove the paint uh, first. And when you do this, uh, you will see that uh, the color under the paint is silver like this. Okay, that's what you want to see before you, uh, you can start striking to generate your sparks. Um, I like to use a striker on its longer side. It gives me a lot more control and a lot more... Um, it's a lot easier this way. And what I do is I simply scrape the paint until I see the metal. And when I see the metal, then I'm ready to generate sparks. And the way I'm gonna do it normally, and there's many ways to generate sparks and some people have some debate uh, about this, but the way that I like to do it is by keeping uh, the, 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 the striker fix. And I will hold it tight, put tension with my left hand and I will pull and as I'm pu putting tension and pulling, this will uh, generate small sparks, and that looks like this. So I'm gonna try to keep this constant and uh, fix, and then pull it. Uh, this end move a little bit, but the intention is to try to, to uh, keep it static. And why is it useful? It gives you a lot more accuracy on where the sparks are gonna go. You don't have to like, 
uh, you, you don't go into your, uh, your pile of wood and destroy everything. It keeps everything, um, all the movement a bit smaller toward your tinder and your pile of wood. So that's why I like it. And uh, if you want bigger sparks or you need more, uh, you just put more pressure and then you can do just uh, pull, pull the, the thing like that. Um, yeah, do it on the, do it on the part without the coat. Uh, th so that's about it uh, for the striker. Uh, another thing to note is the striker has few little um, function here uh, or, or uh, f shapes. Uh, just so that you know, this helps to, uh, this is a bottle opener right here. This is a gutter knife, so you can open, open uh, your fish with that, cut a, a rope, uh, you can scrape stuff. Uh, you have a little flat screw, uh, screwdriver, um, or something you can use to, uh, it's not a it's not a knife per se, but you can use it to scrape stuff. Uh, and you have your little um, hexagonal key in the middle. Um, in uh, the capsule here, uh, you will undo it and you will find a little piece of um, wax with cotton with wax. So what I do normally is I don't use the whole thing to start a fire. I will use a small part of it. Uh, when, when I undo it, I will just open it to maximize the surface area uh, exposed to the sparks and when the sparks get into it, it just instantaneously uh, catch fire. And this will burn maybe this little piece here, maybe for a minute. So it gives you time to, um, uh, with your, your wood pile of wood already ready, uh, give you time to get your tinder to, um, to catch fire and start your fire. So that's pretty convenient, especially uh, when it's wet out there and uh, you don't, you, you need a little bit of help to, uh, extra help to uh, start your fire. Uh, if you carry a fire wand, you also know that um, this tool is also very convenient to uh, uh, start fire in, in hard, hard conditions. So that's it for the first part kit. Uh, I hope that this kit here uh, will follow you in your activities, uh, whether you enjoy hiking, uh, hiking, fishing, uh, hunting, whatever you do outside, uh, having a fire starter kit is always useful. Uh, even if it's a one day hike, uh, you never know what can happen and having the ability to start a fire to keep yourself warm uh, is always a good thing. So it's so easy to snap to your uh, backpack or leave in, uh, your, uh, to your uh, pants that you use for hiking or whatnot that you should, you should never go uh, outside hiking or doing your activities without it. So I want to thank you for watching. Thank you for your interest in this Fire Spark Kit, uh, interest in the Atomic Bear, and uh, we're releasing new products, new content, new video um, all the time. So go check us on YouTube, the Atomic Bear, uh, and um, just uh, follow us there and make sure you uh, hit the bell to be notified if we come up with a new video and just follow us on Instagram and on Facebook. So uh, hopefully uh, we may have a chance to chat. Uh, if you have any more questions, do not hesitate to contact support. Uh, support is super easy to reach, support at theatomicbear.com. And uh, we'll find an answer to all your, uh, your questions and solution to all your problems with respect to the Atomic Bear product. And again, thank you very much for watching. Thank you for your interest. And I'm, I'm saying to the next video where maybe we'll uh, share more information that you will enjoy. Thank you for watching.